Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for June 21st, 2021. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 14. And if you add the one and the four together, you get the number five. The number five is the number of health, healing, the physical body, earth energy, um, exercise, uh, things that we do to take care of our corporeal form. Um, and so it's a day to take care of ourselves, um, to pay attention to the physical world because it is everything that's in the physical world. So with the number five, um, it helps us to look at the things that really make a difference in our lives. While ideas are wonderful, implementing them and making them into something of substance that impacts the physical world is quite another. Effort is required in life on all levels. The more maturity we evolve into, the more we recognize and address those things that need doing for a life to continue to grow. And we have learned to do them with less resistance. Today, what is the effort that you might need to address? Are you going to be willing to leap into that pattern? Maturity comes when we stop resisting what needs to be done and instead just decide to do what arises in each and every moment. The astrology today. With the moon in deep and investigative Scorpio, we are being asked to look inwards to those places that we hide from others, those sacred places that hold the keys to so many patterns and actions that manifest repeatedly in our lives. Often in life, the question is, why? Why do things keep repeatedly happening? The roots of unusual patterns of behavior are often the protective responses to perceived dangers. Those dangers were often learned a long time ago, and now they rule our behavior and direct our choices from the back seat of our consciousness. The moon in Scorpio can also give us a glimpse into those unknown places. Take advantage of this moment by asking the right questions. Those questions are the keys to the doors that hold the secrets that we have been trying to hide. Saturn and Uranus challenge the moon, making things seem a bit harder than normal, but by the afternoon we get a reprieve because Venus and Neptune trine, bringing a much better mood that allows us to step more quickly out of the struggle and into a fresh view of our potential. Deal with those things that need to get done in the morning and then allow yourself some more freedom in the afternoon. Continue to expect plans to change around. It has been hard for so long with all of this Gemini stuff it, that things just keep changing. So just kind of know that it is hard to drop our old routines, but that's what's being asked of us at the moment. Neptune and Venus are also going to help us trust others and try to become more aware of the projections that we put on those around us unfairly. I dream of a day when the drive to compete is less important than the desire to cooperate. If we seek to find what is good in others, then life automatically takes on a less combative mood. Placing others on pedestals is the wrong approach. We do not need more people wanting their 15 minutes of fame. We need a world where spiritual priorities are properly aligned in a very practical and real world. My quote for today. Compassion allows us to see so much beauty in the world. Compassion allows for growth because it forgives mistakes. Compassion is creative because it knows that there is another way. Compassion fires up our minds because it is not focused on the past problems, but about what can be done right now. And my blog for today. Yesterday, I got together with some amazing women friends, and we did a process to create spirit dolls. It came from all of us reading the Heroine's Journey work Workbook by Maur Maureen Murdoch. I can say that right today. Um, I had never done such practice before, and it was delightful. Um, it required a process of focus and access to a creative potential within to speak to the soul and guide our hands in this creative process. Yes, I had a few false starts as I tried to find my footing in this new creative flow, but from the silence and focus moves a force within that intuitively knows what it intends to create. What appeared was a doll that spoke to the things within me that had meaning and value. My doll 
had flowers in her hair. Many kinds of petals and blossoms came sprouting out of her head. The flowers became her feet and also sage helped her to walk on the earth. Then there were flowers in both hands as well. The meaning to me was that no matter what direction you go or walk, you can always find beauty if you are willing to look and that all steps on our path are always sacred, which is why she had sage for legs. The flowers in her hair were all the ideas that are beautiful when we use the mind as it was intended. The flowers in her right hand were yellow, signifying that my masculine side tries to empower others, which is yellow because it's the third chakra. My feminine side tries to uplift others spiritually and offer hope in times of distress. In the doll's chest is a walnut that had been broken open, revealing two hidden treasures indicating that as life literally broke my heart, I discovered the beautiful depth and clarity that I had been seeking. The doll's face was an oak ball with a crack down the center, indicating that this doll could see both sides of life and understood the duality and embraced it. It was a lovely process that was creative and integrative. Thank you to all the lovely women that journeyed yesterday with me in the process. And so... Here you go. Here's my doll. Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Bye.